quantitative data uses numbers like 42 elephants or 10.5 meters. Qualitative data is a description like yellow or bubbling or soft. But we use a lot of quantitative data in science, especially in chemistry. To measure the amount of something in a quantitative way, you could count the number or measure the mass or measure the volume. When you go to the store, you can buy three apples for a fixed price or buy them by the pound. Or if you go apple picking in an orchard, you might even be able to buy them by volume in bushels. We have certain words that represent a counted number, like a dozen or a gross. You learn that a dozen means 12 and a gross means 144. So when someone asks for a dozen donuts or a dozen roses, you think, oh, they want 12. Or if you order a gross of pencils, you know you'll get 144. In chemistry, we deal with really, really, really tiny substances atoms. So we need really, really, really big numbers to have amounts we can actually work with. So we use the mole. A mole is a number, just like a dozen is a number. This number is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd power. That's 602 with 21 zeros after it. Crap, that's big. It's also called Avogadro's number, named after the scientist Amadeo Avogadro. And I know it sounds like avocado, but that's not his name. Avogadro's number is still just 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd power, a mole. When we use the mole, we have to clarify what we have a mole of. So we use representative particles. It could be atoms or molecules or formula units. So a mole of a substance contains 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd representative particles of the substance. Let's use an example. One mole of aluminum would be 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of aluminum. One mole of water is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of water. And one mole of sodium chloride is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd formula units of sodium chloride. And that's it. Music